Have you ever pondered if someone is dishonest with you? I am certain we've all had that one moment where that unsettled sense of suspicion lurked in our minds. That moment when a story seemed skewed or when an alibi appeared to have too many half-truths. It's that lingering feeling that peeks through unanswered questions and inconsistent details. You see, the mind is a powerful and intuitive tool capable of sensing inconsistencies, uncertainties, and doubts. This feeling often leaves us questioning, questioning the motives, the said words, the displayed emotions. The eyes, often proclaimed as windows to the soul, seem to tell a different story than the words that are being spoken. The body language seems incongruous with the narrative being presented. It's these peculiar instances that make our cognitive gears churn, prompting curiosity and skepticism. Indeed, it is an inherent human instinct, a survival mechanism passed down generations, to pick up on these signs of potential danger. It's a fascinating phenomenon, something that binds us all together, something that is shared across cultures, across geographies. The ability to sense a lie, to sense deception, it's a common thread that runs through the fabric of humanity. Deception detection is a field of study that has intrigued scholars, psychologists, and researchers alike. A study that delves into understanding human behavior, the subtleties of communication and the science of lying. From body language to speech patterns, to changes in facial expression, these are all indicators that provide insight into the truthfulness of a person's words. And today we plunge into the mesmerizing world of deception detection, exploring this compelling aspect of human nature. Have you ever wondered if someone is lying to you? Today we dive into the fascinating world of deception detection. Unearth the secrets of the human mind and behavior. Immersing yourself in a world where each truth and lie is dissected and analyzed meticulously. Take a deep dive into the intricate complexities of human psychology drawing insights not just from textbooks but from the real-life experiences of experts. These experts, some from the revered Federal Bureau of Investigation, have spent countless hours in the field interrogating suspects, studying body language and decoding verbal tics. In addition, we also explore the world of professional interrogators, people who are trained to decipher the smallest signs of lies to crack the most hardened criminals. They utilize a unique blend of psychology, intuition, and sheer tenacity to get to the truth. Their insights provide a rare window into understanding the human capacity for deception. Adding another layer of depth, we delve into the minds of renowned psychologists whose research and theories have revolutionized our understanding of human behavior. They dive into the mechanics of thought processes, triggers of deception, and the nuances of interpersonal communication. These professionals spend their lives studying the art of deception and its detection. So, buckle up as this journey is about to take a wild turn and prepare to become a human lie detector. Firstly, we turn to the wisdom of legendary FBI agent Joe Navarro, a renowned figure who has dedicated a significant part of his life to the meticulous examination and interpretation of the varyingly subtle nuances of body language. Over the course of his illustrious career, Navarro has deeply immersed himself in the world of nonverbal cues, meticulously analyzing both overt and covert signs to formulate a comprehensive understanding of human behavior. A significant point that Navarro perpetually emphasizes is the absolute importance of closely observing a person's baseline behavior. Baseline behavior, as he explains, is the typical pattern of a person's physical responses, expressions, and actions in their standard state. It's the collection of routine gestures, mannerisms, facial expressions, and other nonverbal cues that a person exhibits when they are in a neutral and relaxed state of mind free from external influences or emotional disturbances. This careful observation and understanding are critical because this baseline behavior essentially serves as the benchmark or the reference point. It acts as the standard against which all subtle and significant deviations, changes or anomalies in a person's behavior 
can be identified, noted, and analyzed. By comparing any changes to the baseline, one can potentially understand the emotional or psychological shift that the person be experiencing. In essence, this baseline behavior plays an instrumental role in the field of body language interpretation. It is the key to unlocking the complex world of nonverbal communication. And it is this powerful tool that Navarro has continually emphasized throughout his career. This baseline serves as the reference point against which any deviations can be identified. Then we have the infamous Pinocchio effect. This intriguing concept, despite its ubiquity in pop culture, is a far cry from the literal transformation of the famous puppet, Pinocchio's nose. A scientific perspective, the phenomenon doesn't involve a physical growth in the size of the nose when one is not truthful. Its foundation, however, lies in the realm of human psychology and body language. We are talking about a peculiar increase in facial touching with an emphasis on the nose area. When a person lies, it may not cause their nose to stretch outward, but it can cause them to touch their nose more frequently, a well-documented response that has intrigued psychologists and researchers alike. The esteemed psychologist, Dr. Paul Ekman, a distinguished figure in the field of emotion and expressions, has dedicated a significant portion of his career to studying this very phenomenon. His work has shed light on the psychological reactions behind lying and what happens physically when we decide to bend the truth. His explanation suggests that this increase in nose touching is an after effect of the nervous energy generated when we lie. This nervous energy can lead to physiological responses such as elevated blood pressure and a surge in adrenaline. These responses can often manifest as sensations of itchiness, particularly around the face and nose. So while our noses may not grow like Pinocchio's every time we tell a fib, there are subtle physical changes that our bodies undergo, often without our conscious realization. Psychologist Dr. Paul Ekman, who has extensively studied facial expressions, explains that this is due to the nervous energy created when we lie, resulting in increased blood pressure and release of adrenaline, causing itchiness. Next, we journey into the fascinating sphere of speech patterns. Dr. Lillian Glass, a renowned expert in the fields of communication and psychology, suggests that there are certain specific behaviors and traits that could, as possible, giveaways of dishonesty. It is believed that when a person is not being truthful, their speech patterns might alter significantly. The first notable change could be the speaker starting to stutter or stammer. This is not to say that every person who stammers is lying, but in a situation where the individual doesn't typically stutter, this could potentially indicate a lie. Stuttering is often associated with nervousness and a liar might unconsciously start to stutter due to the stress and pressure of maintaining the false narrative they're spinning. Another potential indicator is the speed of speech. A liar might suddenly begin to speak faster. This could be due to the adrenaline rush that often accompanies lying. The increase in speech speed could be their attempt at rushing through the lie in hopes that their deceit will go unnoticed. Moreover, they might also make use of what is known as distancing language. This is a psychological tactic used to create a subconscious barrier between themselves and the lie they're telling. It often involves substituting personal pronouns with impersonal ones. For instance, they might use terms like that woman or the money instead of personal terms like my wife or my money. This subconscious shift in language use can be a strong pointer towards dishonesty. They might also use distancing language to psychologically distance themselves from the lie using terms like that woman or the money instead of my wife or my money. Another fascinating insight comes from former CIA officers Philip Houston, Michael Floyd and Susan Conicero, the renowned authors of the riveting book titled Spy the Lie. These extraordinary individuals had an illustrious career in the Central Intelligence Agency playing pivotal roles in matters of national security. Through their extensive experiences in the field, they became well-versed in detecting deception, 
gleaning insights that they went on to share in their insightful publication. The book, Spy the Lie, is an intriguing compilation of their combined wisdom, offering a unique perspective on the psychology of lying. It's not just about the words spoken, they argue, but the behavioral patterns, the sentence structures, the expressions, and the subconscious actions that can give away a liar. The book unfolds, you're introduced to a variety of techniques used to identify dishonesty. Among these techniques, they underline one particular tactic that stands out, a liar's tendency to offer an excess of information. This excess is often organized meticulously, suggesting a pre-planned narrative. It's as if the person lying has gone through the effort of scripting their dishonesty, presenting it in a way that seems plausible, though flawed upon closer inspection, Additionally, the book points out other possible signs of deception. Liars frequently evade direct responses, demonstrating an uncanny ability to deflect questions masterfully. They may expertly navigate around the truth, diverting attention away from their deceit. Furthermore, they often exhibit an unexpected level of defensiveness, a reaction that seems out of place, disproportionate to the situation. This heightened defensiveness, according to the authors, is another key indicator of deceit. They may also avoid direct answers, deflect questions, or become overly defensive. In the words of renowned psychologist Dr. Leanne Ten Brinker from the Haas School of Business, UC Berkeley, there exists a fascinating phenomenon in the world of deception. It seems that even those among us who are the most skilled at deception those who have spent years honing their ability to lie convincingly are not immune to this particular behavioral pattern. This pattern, interestingly, is not one that is consciously controlled or even recognized by the liar themselves. Rather, it is an involuntary response, a sort of subtle tell that gives away the true nature of their words. This is not to suggest that every liar can be easily spotted, of course. On the contrary, these tells are often so subtle and fleeting that they go unnoticed by the casual observer. The phenomenon in question is what Dr. Ten Brinker refers to as leakage. A fascinating term, isn't it? It conjures up images of a dam slowly crumbling, unable to hold back the waters of truth. And in a way, that's exactly what it is. Even the most accomplished and practiced liars cannot completely control the leakage of their true feelings. This leakage manifests in a variety of ways. It can be an inconsistent micro-expression that flickers across the liar's face, a contradicting gesture that doesn't quite match their words, or a mismatched emotion that betrays their true feelings. But regardless of how it presents itself, this leakage is a powerful tool for those skilled enough to recognize and interpret it. To further illustrate, consider the term micro-expressions these are minute facial expressions that occur involuntarily and last less than a quarter of a second. They can be incredibly revealing, providing a glimpse into the person's true emotions. They might be saying one thing, but their facial expression suggests another. Similarly, gestures can contradict what a person is saying. If someone is claiming they're calm while their hands are shaking, they are likely not telling the truth. The same goes for mismatched emotions. If the tone of voice doesn't match the spoken words, there's a good chance they're lying. In the words of Dr. Ten Brinker, even the most practiced liars exhibit leakage. This refers to unconscious behaviors that can give away a lie, like inconsistent micro-expressions, contradicting gestures, or mismatched emotions. Remember, no single behavior signifies deception conclusively. This is the first rule you need to understand when trying to decipher the encrypted language of deceit. You might have heard that a nervous twitch, a certain look in the eyes, or an oddly timed smile can prove that someone is lying. But the truth is, there is no universal sign of deceit. Deception is a weave of misinformation and misdirection, intertwined with elements of truth and genuine emotion. There isn't a straightforward tell to look out for, or a single behavioral anomaly that screams liar. Everyone behaves differently, and a single sign may mean one thing in one person and something completely different in another. 
Instead, what you should look for is a combination, a pattern of behavioral deviations that are uncharacteristic person you're observing. This may include sudden changes in body language, unexpected shifts in tone of voice, or unusual verbal tics. It's like piecing together a complex puzzle where each piece contributes to the overall image but doesn't tell the whole story on its own. However, even this isn't a foolproof method. Timing and context also play crucial roles. The same behavior could mean different things at different times and in different situations. Therefore, you must always take into account the circumstances surrounding the behavior you're observing. Finally, these insights can help improve your lie detection skills, but they should be used responsibly. They are not foolproof and they don't provide a definitive answer to whether someone is lying or not. They help you understand the landscape of deceit, but they are not a magic key that unlocks all its secrets. So, while these insights can improve your lie detection skills, use them responsibly and remember they are not a license to accuse. In conclusion, spotting a liar is no simple endeavor, but rather an intricate art more than a rigid science. Drawing on a range of observational and interpretive disciplines, it involves the careful assessment of fluctuating behavioral changes. Process requires keen attention to every nuance, from the flicker of a glance to the subtle shift in body language. Furthermore, in the hunt for deception, recognizing inconsistent speech patterns becomes an imperative. It necessitates a heightened level of linguistic intelligence, a deep dive into the murky water of words, phrases, and tones. Inconsistencies can manifest in many forms. They may appear as contradictions, hesitations, or even overly complicated explanations. And it's the job of the discerning listener to unpack these puzzles. In addition to observation and language, understanding psychological signals also plays a fundamental role. This essentially takes us into the realm of emotions, intentions, and motivations, into the very heart of human psychology. Each lie, after all, is of a particular psychological state, be it fear, desperation, or a desire to manipulate. But above all, successfully spotting a liar requires traits such as empathy, patience, and discernment. These qualities help us listen with an open mind, responding calmly to the emotions and stories of others. They enable us to foster relationships marked by trust, authenticity, and mutual understanding. So, as we continue to navigate our relationships and interactions, these skills can provide invaluable assistance. They can help us see past the surface words and actions to the truth that lies beneath. They equip us to cultivate an environment of honesty and respect, creating a more genuine connection with those around us. So, keep observing, keep learning, and keep growing.